their functions as well as their types. Then also we have studied which digestive organs are there in alimentary canal and the digestive glands. Then their functions that means the proper process of digestion that we have studied earlier. Now we are going to study the important glands of digestive system. Their secretions as well as their functions in detail in this chart. Now first of all we have studied that the process of digestion begins in mouth. In mouth which glands are present? Yes, salivary gland. And this salivary glands they secrete the secretion that means saliva and this saliva contains tylin that is an enzyme it, it the another name for tylin is salivary amylase what is its function conversion of starch into maltose by the action of tylin starch is the polysaccharide and it is converted into monosaccharide called maltose complex is converted into simple one then maltose is one type of sugar then stomach in stomach in the gastric walls there are gastric glands and this secret gastric juice this gastric juice contains three things one is dilute hydrochloric acid then pepsin as well as mucus now we will see one by one the functions of these three respectively first of all dilute hydrochloric acid and uh, its function is to make the food acidic as the name indicates it is acid and that's why it makes the food acidic then pepsin pepsin acts on the proteins and that's why it it is responsible for the breakdown of proteins then mucus mucus is the sticky substance and it protects what is its function to protect inner lining from hydrochloric acid acid may cause the damage to the inner linings of the gastric wall and that's why its protection is done by the mucus then then see salivary glands now in stomach gastric walls and they secrete dilute hydrochloric acid pepsin and mucus now the next one is liver the largest gland in our body it was the question of kbc also asked by amitabh bachchan which is the largest gland in our body it is the liver and also uh, in Kormana, Kormanega Karolpati one question was asked which is the hardest substance in our body yes it is the enamel tooth enamel that is the hardest substance in our body then this liver it secretes the bile juice see bile juice is secreted by this liver what is its function to make food alkaline uh, alkaline this acidic food is made alkaline by the bile so that it will be neutralized then emulsification of fats the larger fat molecules they are converted into smaller fat molecules and uh, that is called emulsification of fats by the action of bile juice then pancreas see here are the pancreas and this pancreas they secrete pancreatic juice and this pancreatic juice it contains the three uh, enzymes trypsin lipase and amylase see trypsin it, it acts on protein c pepsin trypsin they act on proteins that means proteins are converted into the amino acids proteins are made up of amino acids 
and this proteins are converted into simpler form that means amino acids by the action of trypsin an enzyme trypsin then lipids lipids the name indicates it acts on lipids lipids are nothing but fats and that's why these fats are converted into fatty acids and glycerols these are the end products of fats and these are converted into fatty acids and glycerol by the action of an enzyme lipase then amylase amylase what is its action complex carbohydrates are converted into simple carbohydrates or simple sugars by the action of amylase then small intestine the main function of digestion occurs here in small intestine and this intestine it secretes its uh, intestinal glands secrete intestinal juice and what is its function it acts on proteins and uh, carbohydrates as well as fats like this proteins are converted into amino acids complex carbohydrates are converted into simple carbohydrates called glucose simple sugars then fats are converted into its end products fatty acids and glycerol by the action of intestinal juice in intestine by juice from liver it enters in the uh, small intestine then pancreatic juice from pancreas it also comes in intestine and this intestinal juice these three bring about the uh, very important process of absorption of the, the nutrients into blood and because of that there is the uh, very uh, good metabolism and there is the occurrence of a good digestion process here because of all these enzymes they bring about the specific action and they are active these enzymes are active at the room temperature okay thank you